Back when I was a graduate student and I started doing research on Spanish, I realized I didn't have the intuitions of a native speaker and likely never would. But by creating corpora of Spanish, and this is 20, 25 years ago, uh, even if I didn't have those intuitions, I could look at millions of words of native speakers and say, this is what's really going on in the language. What I find most interesting about it is that you can learn pretty much anything about language through a corpus. What's cool about corpus is that it gives you, or corpora, it gives you a lot of information really quickly. And I really liked how quick it was at giving you a lot of information. So one of the things I love about the corpora is that they're really no harder to use than a Google search. If you just sit down at your computer, type in a word, you get immediate results. The idea is that everything is accessible, easily accessible via the web. What we're trying to do is to search hundreds of millions of words doing some pretty complex queries, not just words and phrases, but grammatical constructions and so on. You can find out things about pronunciation, if it were a pr pronunciation corpus. You can find out things about grammar or syntax or how words are used. You can f find out how words are used incorrectly. Uh, the corpora are used by just a wide range of people, from teachers and learners to linguists to historians. Uh, cultural historians, people interested in literary studies, um, lawyers, jurists, um, people who are just interested in language and how language changes and how it varies um, from one place to another. So really a wide range of people. As an editor, the corpus helps validate what we're doing in our editing uh, and it also shows what the people are actually using in their speech and not just what some editing book says is correct. Practicing lawyers use interpretive tools to understand constitutions, legislation, regulation, judicial opinions, and we have a fairly limited range of interpretive tools that have traditionally been available to us. We look at the context in which the words are used, we try to understand their common meaning, and we try to understand their technical meaning. Corpus linguistics is another tool that will revolutionize the study of law in, because it will add new perspectives on the interpretation of words in all of those settings. In addition, legal scholars uh, will use corpus linguistics to gain additional insight into the study of law. And so I think uh, corpus linguistics is going to completely change both the practice of law and legal scholarship. I like to use the corpora because we can learn things from them that are beyond our human intuition. There are things that all of us know when we use language. We know, we know this thing, these things subconsciously. Um, but with the corpora, we can find out what we know subconsciously and bring it to our consciousness. I'm fascinated by the question of how do societies and cultures change and why. And that's why I'm so interested in using corpora to look at historical linguistics because it serves as a wonderful lens on societal and cultural change. One of the most interesting things for me about the corpus is the corpus of historical American English um, because it really gives a life to our language. There's a lot of words that we take for granted in our language, but they came from someplace and they often come from a historical event. And I love history, so I love seeing how these words have a lot of life in them. You can never learn everything from a single corpus. There's always more you can learn. And so that's why I use the corpora a lot. One of the most satisfying things has been knowing that the corpora are being used by hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world for whom this is their connection to English. What they understand about English comes from what they find in the corpora, and knowing that their ability to progress professionally is tied in to the degree to which they acquire uh, native-sounding uh, English, and that the tools I've created are helping to provide that resource, that's satisfying for me.